Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about normally open contacts and normally closed contacts. We will not only understand the logic, but also see how to implement and simulate them using codices. So let's start. Normally open contact. It does not allow current to flow through it in its normal state when it is not compressed or activated. That means when the input is false, that means when the input is not turned on, the output is also off. And when the input is on, that is when the input is turned on, the output also gets on. Similarly, normally closed contact. It allows current to flow through it in its normal state. That is when it is not compressed or activated. That means when the input is not activated, the output gets on and when the input is turned on, that means when the input is true, the output gets false. The outputs get turned off. So let's move to codices where we will use normally open contacts and normally closed contacts and simulate them. I will open codices version 3. We need to create a new project. We'll click on it. I can give a name to my project. Let's keep it normally open contacts and normally close contacts. And we need to select the standard project and click on OK. After that, you need to select the ladder logic diagram and click on OK. After that, go to PLC PRG, double click on it, and then we will use the normally open contacts and normally close contacts here. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact from here. I will click on it. So as you can see here, a normally open contact gets inserted here, and then I will click here, and then I can insert a coil. So if I'm not clicking here, so I cannot insert a coil here. So I need to click here first. Then I will click on coil. As you can see, now the coil has been inserted here. So we will name this as you can see. I will uh, I will name it as NOC. Click on OK. I can also zoom into it like this. So this is NOC and then I will keep it as coil. So for inputs we use contacts and for outputs we use coils. As we have already seen that if a normally open contact is in false state the output will be in false state as well. And if the normally open contact is in true state, then the coil will be also in the true state. That means when we turn on NOC, this contact, this input, the output gets on and when we will turn off this coil, the output gets off. After that, we will use normally closed contact in other than network. I will right click here and click on insert network. So as you can see here, I can insert a negated contact. So this normally closed contact is also known as negated contact. I will insert it here and then I will click here and then add a coil. So this will be NCC. Okay. And then this coil will be coil 2. Let's say it's coil 2. This will be coil 1 and this will be coil 2. So, this is a normally closed contact. When it state is false, it will allow signal to pass through it. As a result, this coil will be on. So, initially, when this contact, this input is false, the output, this coil 2 will be in true state 
and when we will turn it on that means when its state gets true when its state is 1 the output this coil 2 gets off its state will be false that is 0 so let's simulate it we'll generate code we'll click on it after that we'll go to online and then simulation after that we'll go uh, we will click on login yes after that we'll click on this option start as you can see here when this ncc when this ncc uh, its uh, value is false that means its state is false it's off you can see the coil 2 coil 2 is in true state and then when i change the state of this ncc i will click on it and then go to debug i will click here Sorry. So, to change the state of this NCC, I will click here in the blank box for, uh, for uh, NCC. I will change it to true. Then, we will go to debug and write values. As you can see here, when the state of NCC is true, the coil 2 gets off. You can see its state becomes false. And then, when I uh, I change the state of this NCC false. You need to keep it as false and then go to debug and write values. And you can see the NCC is false, but the coil 2 is true. Similarly, for NOC, as you can see here, this NOC is false, but the coil is true. This NOC is false, this NOC is false, but the coil, the output coil 1, coil 1 is also false. And when I uh, change the state of this NOC to true, go to debug and write values, you can see the state of this coil 1 also gets true. And when I turn off this NCC to false, NOC to false, false then go to debug and write values you can see the coil one also gets off in this way we can use these nocs and ncc's in codices it was all about this video thank you for watching